Don't miss this before your IP Mat 2025 exam. These last minute tips are specially for you. Number one, stop chasing new chapters now. Double down on what you know. Number two, let's go topic wise. In QA, focus on arithmetic, algebra and modern math as these three topics carry the maximum weightage. In verbal ability, you should start with phrases, then RC, then para jumbles, then fill in the blanks, follow it up with word usage, then grammar and at the very end you should do para completion as those are the toughest. What to do in these three days? Number one, just write two mocks. It's not important to write mocks every day, but very, very important to analyze that mock on the same day to find what is your drain and what are your slips. Number two, this is the time to polish, not practice. So maximize the focus on your strength areas. Which brings us to the test day. If you get around a question and feel that that is tricky, move on. The maximum time that you should wait on a question is 2.5 minutes if it is a first section that is QA short answers, 1.5 minutes if it is QA and MCQ, and then just 1 to 1.2 minutes if it's a question from the verbal ability section. Looking back, you should plan to get a score of 35 in the QA short answer section. A score of around 65 would be very ideal for the QA MCQ section. And in the verbal ability section, you should plan to get a score of 125 to 130 as the cutoffs for the VA are the highest. Overall, your score should be somewhere in the range of 220 to 240 to be very, very clear and very sure of getting that coveted interview call based on last year's cutoff. Overall, you have worked hard enough. This is the time to deliver. This is Anshul Kothari wishing you all the best for the upcoming IP Mat exam. Go rock it.